Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today, I want to show you how I got this look using the new Natasha Denona Valentine's Love Collection. So if you're interested in seeing how I got here, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, are you ready? Okay, so let me introduce you to the Valentine's Collection by Natasha Denona. And these will be going on sale for the public on the 28th of January, January 28th. And so for two days, um, Natasha Denona actually ran a special and if you are like, if you buy things from her site, you might've gotten an early access um, invite and that's how I was able to get hold of it. And let me tell you, um, they come in three different pieces and you can get them as just, you know, pieces like this. So you can get them one at a time. If you just want them, um, you know, maybe the eyeshadow palette, you want the lipstick or you want the blush duo. And so it, and it's, um, I don't know what the price is going to be. Uh, when it's released because it's $92 is what it comes out to but uh, for early access it was $80 for these three pieces not sure if it's going to be that way when it's um, open to the public or if it's going to bump up to $92 that much I, I didn't get it so yeah so check it out and if you're interested and these colors are actually let me open this for you um, this right here is the palette the mini palette and it is so beautiful and it's five colors and it's not her regular um you know her five palette five pan palette oh my god say that fast three times um but this is the mini more like her um like a mini zando and things like that okay and so but these are all new colors from the love palette it is not in the original midi love palette and let me get that for you so at least you see what it's uh, what that what i'm talking about okay in case you haven't seen it Okay, guys, I should have been a little bit more prepared. I didn't even think about pulling this palette. But here it is. This is her love palette. This is what was introduced last year at this time for Valentine's. And so these are the colors here. And I really, really love this palette. And um, I know there's a few um, influencers out there that totally hate this palette because they found out at the end that they ended up getting a bad lot, uh, a batch and it, they couldn't work with it. I mean, it was really, um, the mats were really, um, gumming together and, you know, really not working well and blending out well. So I was lucky because this is a good, actually, you know, I have not prob no problems with this and mine is not in that affected lot. So that's not that. And then, um, like I said, these colors are not included. And let me hold it together for you just so you could kind of, let me see. I need another arm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you see them both together? Yeah. And so they are very similar, um, but they are not identical. And so she designed it this way to make this new palette, the mini palette, unique. Okay. And then another thing she did uh, really cute about this palette is what's done by uh, the, what's been done by Marc Jacobs. Wow, I'm having a hard time talk today. Sorry about that. Is to when you speak out these colors in order, it makes a, sen a sentence. So it is like uh, the first one is you, then are, then my, then true, then love. So it spells out you are my true love. If you read this from the back you are my true love okay and so my um the iconic eyeshadow by uh, mark jacobs it's that way so if you own one look at the back and read it together it's a sentence <laughs> so and i think i own like four of my, mark jacobs um palettes and they all do say different things so it's kind of neat so that's that and um so and like i said these are all unique colors and i will be using this to demonstrate for you today a look okay and then another thing, and I was really excited about this thing. I don't know why, but I've been really getting into like blushes and um, highlighters. And that's, that's not like, you know, I wasn't always into it. I was 
definitely always into eyeshadow palettes, but this is a, like a new thing for me. But here it is. This is the Natasha Denona. Um, this is the way it comes packaged. And then when you go into it, it is so cute. I think it's cute. And um, at least one influencer who does only um, high end and also, you know, the prestige brands don't like this. They've already said, I watched her and she said, you know, I wish they wouldn't have done this. This is more like what you see, like, I forgot how she put it, kind of like a Barbie doll type of thing, you know, like this. She thought it was immature. And for somebody who is a consumer of a high end makeup, she did not like that at all. But I'll be honest with you, I like it. I really like it. I mean, I, I love high end makeup I and I own many, but I mean, so what? This is so cute, right? But it's okay. You know, everybody has their likes and dislikes and, and she just happens to not like it. I happen to love it. So, but that's okay. As far as if I was giving feedback to Natasha Denona, I'd be like, yeah, I, I'm into it. And it's got little hearts in there actually that float. You know, I can watch these things for hours. <laughs> I love this snow globe type of things. I mean, you may not like it, but you know, it is what it is. I like it. Makes it unique. And so anyway, forget about what's on the outside. What's on the inside? What's on the inside? <laughs> so you know me and aesthetics, right? And so, okay. There's a beautiful mirror. And since it is got a frost on it, I'm not going to peel it off because this is great. So that way I can show it to you right side up. And here is the blush here. And this is the highlighter. And the thing is, I mean, this is kind of like this. This is a, a cream blush. And I was kind of debating whether I want it or not because I do have cream blushes and I love them. But um, I was thinking next to a powder highlighter, how is that going to work out? But um, from what I understand, it's, you know, all of the reviews that I've seen, people love it. And so I'm not going to swatch these for you because I'm going to try it on on my face. So no need for a swatch. And so, yeah, I really, really, really like it. And the colors, uh, let's see, what are the colors called on these two? Okay, this color is pink coral, and this is golden champagne. But I really, really, I mean, this is really pinky, though. So, and, you know, I really, really like her um, bronzers. and Bronzers, yeah. Highlighters, bronzers, I like them. I think there's only one that I actually decluttered recently, and that was a gold one. It was way too much gold for me. But I do actually have her other um, highlighter now. Um, since I did the decluttering, mail came. <laughs> So I have another one. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that. And I will be trying this on. And then the last thing in a collection is her I Needed Nude Lipstick and Amorosa. And it's like this. And I mean, as far as um, the, her I Need a Nude Lipstick, they usually come like this, okay? They come in white. And, but this is for the Valentine's, comes in special packaging, limited edition, special packaging. And it is pink. And if I were to put this next to each other, actually this one, the pink one, feels a little bit heavier. I'm going to have to put it on a scale to see if it, that's true. But the um, this one is in the shade of Amorosa. And I don't have anything like this color. And I'm glad I don't because I really like the packaging. Let me get it closer here. And this is an I Need a Nude and, um, a lipstick. And let me show you the two that I do have. And I believe, let's see, what is this one here? This one is... Um, I always have a problem saying this one. Um, Liron, Liron, L-I-R-O-N, Liron. So you see comparatively, um, definitely different shades. Okay. And the third one um, is Avril, Avril. And this is actually, oh, this is such a beautiful color. This is like really nice. And I almost feel like these two are like in between, right? So take a look here. Okay, and so I really love her lipsticks. I mean, yeah, and I, you know, I love lipsticks anyway. And matter of fact, that's what I am decluttering next. And so you should be seeing my collection of lipsticks. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I needed another one like I needed another hole in the head, but it is what it is. Okay, so without further ado, now that I explained it to you, um, let's get going with the try on. Okay guys, what I did was I put on my primer and my eyebrows. So today I'm using a different primer than usual. And uh, what I did was I used this uh, Viseart primer and this is a little bit more um, creamy and I guess moist than my usual, um, yeah, my ABH, okay? 
and this one is more like a cream this was it just dries to more like a powder so that's a difference but I did notice that using this is very tacky and so hopefully this will work out with this type of eyeshadow okay and also my eyebrows you know I use the um, ABH uh, Promod oh yeah I can never get that there we go okay Alrighty then. So I will first start um, by using my Ruffer 15. And I will go into R because it's UR, right? So R, this one here. And I will go ahead and put this all over. Okay, and I'm going to go, go ahead into the crease as well. I want to start out with just um, giving it a little bit of color and I will go a little bit above my crease, okay? Very highly pre pigmented as usual. You know, usual Natasha Denona quality from what I can feel so far. This is just the first color show. So I'm going to have to get into more colors in order to um, tell you more about it. But definitely pigmented. Um, I've only dipped in one time and this is what I'm getting so far. So yeah, let me just finish the other side. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. I usually put a mat on my crease, but instead using a number 14 refer brush, I will go into this shimmer. And this one is the color Love. And so let's see how it works out because, you know, um, she only has two mattes in this um, palette. And one is actually definitely for the uh, more of your outer V because it's very dark. And I will use it for that as well, okay, which is this color here, okay? And so but for now, let's go into the crease with this shimmer and see how that works out. Okay, even though this is a shimmer, it's pretty, um, yeah, pretty benign and it's very nice. It's not like, you know, beaming, you know, like I was afraid that that would happen. So, but no, it's nice. Okay, let me do the other side. Okay, and I think the key to uh, working with these shimmers in the crease area is to keep it isolated to the crease and below, but don't go above because I think that's when it starts to look a little bit clowny. And so, I mean, nothing wrong with having any shimmer above there, but I think the key is um, keeping it contained, kind of like, you know, under, under. So that way you can use a topper um, on top of the lid and then you'll be done with it, okay? So, okay, here we go. That's that. And now let's go with the, hmm, refer number 13. And let's go into the shade. Let's see, it's called My, 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 My. So that is this darker color here in the middle, and it is called My. And we will go into the um, the outer corners with this. And you know what? This is so pigmented. And it, there is um, a little bit of kick up. Not a little bit. There is a lot bit of kick up under mattes, um, to be honest. But um, yeah, because of the pigmentation, I'm, you know, I'm not... I'm not sweating it. So, hmm, this is a lot of color. So I'm wondering if I should, I have not been tapping it off, but um, take a look. There is a lot of um, pigmentation there. I'm gonna take a chance and see what happens. Okay, so. Oh yeah. And another thing, these are blending well. The, um, the matte that I used initially and the um, shimmer colors actually did blend very well. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and now uh, do what I usually do is just tap this on here and then I use another brush to work it, you know, work it in and blend it. Because these are so highly pigmented. Okay, I think in this case what I'll do is I'll take the same brush that I actually use and kind of like uh, swirl it on a um, microfiber cloth and use it to work it. See, I took off most of the color. And so I will go ahead and use that to work through it, to blend it a little bit. And so, yep, here we go. 
And then, you know, like I always tell you guys, take your time with this. It's You're not supposed to, like, finish in five minutes. I mean, there's no such thing as five-minute makeup. There really isn't. Unless you're, of course, doing one-and-done natural look type of thing, right? And so you're supposed to have fun. I When I do makeup, I have fun, you know? So, and, you know, I discover new things, and I discover things I don't like and things I do like. And so, yeah, here we go. Okay, that's that. That's blended out pretty nice. Yeah, and it's, this is such a nice, I love this color story. I, I can't help it. I can't, I don't think I'm ever going to outgrow this one, you know, because it's pink and a lot of people are like, oh, it's like a, you know, kind of like, that's for the 20s. No, not really. Hmm. So, okay. Now, let's go with the topper. I'm going to use this color, but I think I will go ahead and, I don't know if I should try a brush. I will try the brush first and let's see if it works. If not, I will go in with the um, with my fingers, which yeah, I, I usually don't like to do. You guys know that. So this is my refer two, and this is a packing brush. Okay, very thin packing brush. And so if any brush works, this should be it. So let me go in here and see if I'm catching anything on the brush. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like it. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna try going. Just tapping doesn't work. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go back and forth like this. Yep, that picked it up. Ta-da! See, things that you learn as you're doing things. And here it is. Okay. And let's see. Let's see how this looks. And I know, like, even when you watch um, Natasha Denona working uh, with these colors, you notice that she uses her fingers, right? And so, Yeah. And this is a, as you notice, this is dual, dual chrome. And it looks like there is a shift of gold is what it looks like to me. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Beautiful color though. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. That is such a pretty color. Yeah. You know, one thing I, I don't think I ever remember anybody showing you how to pick these things up on a brush. People say, well, spray it with, um, uh, you know, setting spray, do this, do that. But you know what? I don't ever remember them saying, unless I missed it. And if you guys seen it, please tell me that I'm crazy. But, um, to wiggle the brush, I mean, seriously, if you pat it, it doesn't pick up at all. And then, so what I do is I wiggled it back and forth and it picks up a lot of stuff. Let me show you. And so this is like a, I'm proud of myself. I discovered this. <laughs> on my own maybe it's been out there and I just totally missed it but yeah yeah and oh my goodness but you gotta be careful because it picks up a lot yeah how come nobody talks about this and if they do and I wasn't paying attention I do apologize okay so beautiful yeah huh I may need to go ahead and pick up, um, because this has become so nice and bright, I may need to pick up a little more on the, <laughs> little more on this brush and kind of finish off the, um, yeah, the sides a little bit, add a little more color to it. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to finish off the eyes at least um, on the inner corners using this color here. And let me see what that one is called. That one is called um, True. True? Yeah, True. True. Okay, so let's put True in the inner eyes. Wow, that's so pigmented, guys. Look at this. Oh, she does her eyeshadow so right. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this palette. Oh, God, look how... This thing picks up so easy, and it's it's just... It's crazy. Wow, very nice. You know what? I think I'm going to put a little bit up here. Yeah, just a little bit to give it a little bit of a, yeah, hike to my brows here. Wow. Look out, that thing is just like a beaming. Huh. And so, you know what? I normally probably wouldn't have used all five colors, to be honest with you guys. But since I wanted you guys to, to see, um, you know, how all these colors performed, I did use all five. 
and all of them, including both of the mats and three, two shimmers and the dual, dual chrome. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, they blend easily. They don't blend into each other and it's not muddy. And this is, that's for me that, that just totally, totally destroys my thought on any palette is when it has muddy colors. And this one does not have any of that. And so this is, I mean, I, I think I like this one better than my love palette, to be honest with you, because it's so easy to pick the colors, right? And it just boom, boom, boom and done. Okay, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and finish off my eyes by putting mascara and things like that and putting on some face makeup and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, this is what I got. And let me tell you what I used as far as my foundation. I did use the Natasha Denona foundation in 40N, which is um, light medium and, and a neutral undertone. And also, of course, I did use the blush, the cheek blush and the highlighter palette with this collection. And I'll tell you how I did it. As far as um, this cream, I don't like to stick my finger into things, but what I was able to do was, this is pretty pretty good. This is the um, Allure little miniature sponge that's supposed to grow. Well, this has got a very perfect rounded bottom. And what I did was I took this and I kind of dry, not wet, and bounced it actually into the, um, the palette. And I worked it a little at a time like this. And it actually worked out perfectly. And so I think this is what it's going to become is that it's... Natasha Denona blush sponge. <laughs> so that's that. And then as far as the um, highlighter, I know there's also big complaints because of the, there is some like um, pattern here of the hearts and it is risen, you know, so it's, it's not a smooth surface, but, and I know there were a couple of people saying it's really hard to pick up um, evenly with the brush, but I think what would solve that um, is if you use a fan brush and that's exactly what I did. And when I usually use these, I usually rub it back and forth, sorry about that, like so, and on both sides, and I just pat it like this, so that way I'm not leaving a line, and I'm hoping that there is no line here, because I try to um, kind of blend it out really good, because it is definitely beaming. I mean, this is, I love this. This has now become my perfect blush and highlighter in one, and which is rare, because, you know, I don't like things two things like that in the same palette, but this is, I mean, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, take a look at it. I mean, it gives me a youthful glow that I'm always looking for in makeup, especially when Natasha Denona's um, foundation is actually dries very matte and it could have the look of like dryness if you're not careful with it. So you really have to dress up that foundation, but I like the, um, the reason why I use that foundation a lot is because it lasts a long time. That's definitely easily a 12 hour foundation for me. So yeah. And so, and you know, being able to use these other things like cream blushes and this nice highlighter actually enhances that, um, without it looking dry. Okay. And also as far as the lip color, this is what I'm wearing, right? And what I lined, well, I don't own any lip liners by uh, Natasha Denona. So I did use my MAC. And this is in the color um, SOAR, S-O-A-R, SOAR. Let me see if I could, uh, if I could get this to pick up. There it is, right there, SOAR. And this is a, a very good um, color uh, pencil for a lot of um, lip colors. This is the reason why I like it. it. This is like my fourth one, and I continue to buy it. I mean, this is great color, great shade, and uh, it works for everything. So other than that, I think that's it that I put on there, right? Of course, my mascara, which is my MAC mascara that I normally use. And so let me give you a little bit of feedback here. As far as this collection, would I have rebuy it if I had the opportunity to do it all over again? Absolutely. I love every single piece of this collection. You know what I do wish they actually added was a lip pencil with it. It would have been perfect, right? Um, but I have one, so not a big deal. But I think I would have liked to own one um, and I may still go ahead and consider it. And as far as this palette goes, it is gorgeous. I, I mean, this is so beautiful. I've been really reaching lately for quads and smaller palettes because it, you know, it, it could become overwhelming when you're trying to work with colors and when you're trying to do, especially me trying to do a video, you know, what color do I use? You know, what combination? So this is really nice to actually do it really quick because you're, you're limited, but you know, limited as far as your imagination and, um, 
because I wanted to use all the colors, um, this is the look that I came up with. And I really love this dual chrome. I don't know if the light's picking it up. I'm hoping so. But it's got a nice golden shift which I really, really like. And I think that's the same thing with the blushes. It's not so much a gold, but it's like a champagne shift. And I, I think it's, I mean, look at this. This is like, the colors are gorgeous. I mean, she does her makeup so right. And $80, I think it was well worth it. I really do. I mean, that's, that's steep, but I think this is something that will last. And the thing is, this look you can use any time. So if you own this collection only and that's all you had, I mean, you could really make it work really. And so you could really dress it up and do smoky eyes using a darker color and, you know, for going out or just omit that totally and just use a dual chrome and just one, you know, one and done type of thing. I mean, the lipstick you can wear anywhere. And so overall, it's two thumbs up, um, five out of five. I have no complaints about it. Um, like I said, I mean, there's, I can't say anything bad about it. So I would definitely reinvest. And even if it was $95 easily or $110 even, right? Because if this is all you need and if, and I mean, you could use it in multiple different ways and different seasons because you can use this in a fall as well as you can in a spring, right? And as winter. So yeah, that's what I think about it. So let me know what you thought, uh, what you think, and if you ordered it or um, if you're planning on order it, let me, you know, let me know. And I hope I helped out a little bit as far as your decision if you were on the fence about it. And Corey, don't fall off that fence, okay? <laughs> so anyway, so my beautiful wildflowers, thank you so much for spending your moments with me again. And I hope you guys have a great week, great night, great day, whenever you're watching this, okay? So, but always remember, my beautiful wildflowers, don't ever sweat the small stuff. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.